All right, y'all. Let's see what she do, man. Once again, it's my first time in one of these S3. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go, man. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle, everybody. Keeping it moving and grooving, man. If you end up liking this video, don't forget to give your boy the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and all that good stuff, you guys. Um, we are at Odessa, you guys. Dealer only auto auction. And it's time for us to find us some cars to sell, man. So um, as you guys can see, they got a Mustang right here with a 5.0. My brother's actually looking for one of these when I think about it. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. We might have found us some money. Uh, this one's a stick. He can't drive a stick. He needs an automatic. So keep it moving. Um, what I'm looking for is actually some cars that are going to be like 5000 and under. Um, we shall see. We got some Newgate cars over here. Let's see if there's anything that I like. I do like this Hyundai Elantra. It's got 108,000 miles on it. Let's see. It is a 2009 starter up. Okay, not a bad startup at all. Let's see if these electronics are working. That's good. I think what I'm gonna do with y'all this time, you guys, is I'm going to not test drive. I'm gonna touch more cars. So I'm gonna do what we did when y'all really, really liked that video. So I'm gonna touch all of the cars I'm thinking about buying or most of them start them up see what we find on the inside and then uh go from there so let's see um anyways radio is working fan is working let's pop the hood real quick it's already popped it's got a little vibration coming from the front sounds like it's just like some plastic or something nothing crazy or it's probably one of these pulleys on this side nope it's this there you go that's what's making the noise so that's cool let's look under here it looks to be dry that's good too so i'm gonna leave this one running um let's see what else we can find over here okay don't yell at me, y'all, about the Toyota Camry, you guys. I'm not rocking with the Toyota Camry today. Um, Cavalier with 200,000 miles. Looks like it's an 03. Start her up. I don't have my jump pack with me today, you guys, so. Okay, she started up. That was a good startup, too. Manual windows. Radio does work. Fan is already on. It's already blowing cool air. Uh, interior looks to be cool. Let's pop this hood. Let's actually go to the back too, see what it looks like. This isn't that bad. I did see a flaw earlier. At least I thought I did. Let me look at it a little bit more. Right here, the bumper is a little bit misaligned. Must have gotten into a little fender bender or something. Uh, let's see. Nothing. I don't see any leaks up top. No valve cover leak or nothing like that. Newer battery, March of 2020. Uh, it's bone dry under there. That's good as well. So, all right, let's keep it moving. See if we can find anything down this area. Tweezy's already out here. He drove like 15 cars already. So I think he's over there driving that Benz. I think that's him. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What year is this one? 08. 08, C-Class. What is it, C320? C300. Four Matic, so it's all-wheel drive. You drove this already? You drove this already? No. I think I smelled a little oil. Yeah, I smell a little oil. You look for leaks? No, I'm Okay. Yeah, but it's clean though. It's probably just valve cover gas or something stupid like that, y'all. So, 
looks like they got them uh s3 uh, audi what is this i don't even know let me see y'all know sometimes i don't know these trims audi s3 i never seen one it looks like an a4 to me but it's a s3 y'all comment below let me know is this a expensive car usually when it's a s it is so my boy got a uh, what is, what kind of car did this dude got he got a 20 2020 um audi rs7 sportback so i know that that is pretty expensive that sound good that sound real good right there check engine light is on now i'm window shopping y'all because i ain't no chance in hell that i'm buying this car so let me get up out of here but it is a nice car for sure for sure so that would be a little fun drive though maybe i should end the video driving it i like it all right let's keep it moving see what else we got out here let's see got a little ford um escape or is that yeah it's a ford escape second guessing myself y'all i think at this point in my life y'all i gotta start looking at the newer cars because I'll be knowing what I'm talking about when I'm talking about them older cars, them 2015s and, and below for the most part. But when it comes to them, to them, uh, the newer ones, man, I'll be second guessing myself because I don't sell them. So I need to start rocking with them a little bit more. But nothing right here that I'm seeing that I feel like messing with. Um, they got a Honda Pilot or CRV over here. Some of y'all favorites. Y'all always comment about these. Let's see, 191,000 miles on it, it's so 09. Let's see who's selling it. Walzer, boom. I am gonna drive this one today, y'all. If I can get this for a good price, that'll be good. So we're gonna start this up. Start it up good. Hey, Brent Byers, you probably happy that I got in here, huh, man? <laughs> Finally got in a Honda. That's, uh, yeah. That's my guy right there. He's probably thinking I was filming him. So, all right, cool. Gas working. Cut this fan on. Okay, fan's working. Let's pop this hood, wherever the hood thing is. The hood latch, where the heck is it? Uh, oh, right here. Tires are decent. Not seeing any leaks. Nothing below. This is surprising. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Usually we see oil, at least some type of residue under there. The body's a little bit beat up. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're gonna mess with that one. Let's keep walking down here, see what we can find. Got an Acura MDX, 182,000 miles on this one. Who's selling this? Walzer as well. Y'all comment below, let me know if these are hard sales for you guys. For me, the Acura MDXs have been a tough sale in the past. That's why you guys really don't see me rocking with them. These seats are beat up. I'm not even gonna mess with them. I'm not gonna mess with this car. I'm straight. Uh, let's see. Chevy Impala only starts in L1. No, thank you. Probably we had we had y'all know about them issues. It's only starting in neutral and certain drives. Sometimes you be needing a transmission, so we good. Um, Chevy Cruze, man. I feel like once we get a good one, once we get a good one of these, I'm never not gonna buy one so let's see this one's got lower miles than the one we just bought so check engine light is on on this one i'm gonna check the check engine light once we get back here's my code reader y'all i got the link in the description below most definitely we'll pull them codes for you for the transmission and the engine it is always on sale on amazon man so make sure you go follow the link 
in the description below that's working that fans working of course all right most definitely i'm checking for oil leaks on this one y'all know the troubles that we just went through with uh one of these how to do the rear main seal or front main seal all type of stuff valve cover gas is not leaking okay that looks pretty dry oh no cooling in there that's a little scary i'm gonna leave that be go ahead and cut that off Right. Oh, what am I doing? It's an Astro van right here, y'all. Do y'all know what these things do? It's got 217,000 miles. It's an O2. I know it's got to be an all wheel drive. It's got to be. I'll try to check the van later. Oh, yeah, all wheel drive. Let's go. It's one of my number one sellers, y'all. Y'all just haven't seen me sell one. <laughs> All right, start this joint up. Let's go. Power steering, whining a little bit. Let me cut this off. So I ain't, I can't even tell y'all the sauce, man. I can't tell y'all the sauce on this one, man. Some secrets I gotta keep to myself. Y'all know I, I love giving y'all free game, but um, we got too many Minnesota dealers on my channel now, so we can't we can't give y'all all the sauce. All right blower motor that's typical for this car i don't know why these blower motors always go out um most definitely the rear differentials will be going out too on this car so when i drive it i gotta check that out for sure um this car it being old i wouldn't really even care about it having like slight oil leaks and especially what people use these for um they don't even care about oil leaks these are usually just workhorses for people so they'll end up like slapping all of that all of them seats out in the back and then it'll be a carpenter or a construction guy then so you see that you see that little seepage going on in there nothing looks too crazy it's probably wet under here too um yep it's got something going on right there so i'm gonna let it heat up check the transmission fluid and all that um and we'll go from there but let's just keep starting these cars up Trailblazer, Envoy, we good on. Uh, looks like they got a Honda Civic back here. Or what is this? Hold on. It's a Honda something. What is that, a Fit or whatever they call it? Yep, Honda Fit. It's a 07. Little commuter. 135,000 miles. It is a manual. I'm not messing with manuals. I'm not. So we good there. Not messing with any of these. What's this? A Harley Davidson joint? Oh, uh, look at that, y'all. I know a lot of y'all like these. Pickup truck, F-150. Let me start it up for y'all before y'all start yelling at me. She sounds good. I'm just not personally I'm not buying any any more SUVs or pickup trucks. I'll do I'll do like a mid-size SUV with a, a V6 motor in there or a four-cylinder if you can find something foreign or something. But as far as uh as far as the uh the big joints go, I'm I'm good on that man. Um let's see what's down here. Let's see, Chrysler 300. That's probably just a V6 in here. Let's pop the hood. Yeah, 3.6 liter motor. Ain't nothing special about that. Got another Honda CRV. Lower miles. We're gonna leave that one alone. We got an F-150. Newer body style. What year is this one? It's a 2015, y'all. 47,000 rounds on it. Jeep Wrangler. Nice one. 107,000 miles. Okay, all right. SRX, we good on. We good on the Ford Escape. 64,000 miles on, that's pretty low. Y'all best believe I'm be going for that Pacific over there. Trust that. They got a BMW 3 Series over here. 
what is this the uh jaguar uh what is it the f type or some crap like that it's a 2018 f pace i think they call it yeah f pace all wheel drive 2.5 turbo let's start it up man let's window shop a little bit man Ooh, nice little nice little interior y'all let's start her up smell good too okay i don't know what i'm hearing though that could be like a i don't know if y'all can hear it it could be like an ac pulley or it could be like an exhaust making a little noise more than likely that's what it is oh that's crazy they got the uh the window stuff up here i never seen that it's cool let's y'all know i'm really into these backup cameras for some reason <laughs> put the reverse you know it's not really like high def or nothing but it's pretty cool i like how they got the shifter right here now the car starting to run a little rough cut this off get up out of these people's car Got you a big old truck right here. Looks like a Dodge Ram. Yep. 273,000 miles on it. Most definitely could pull something with that. Let's see. What else we got? Got them Sebrings, man. Them things is made from hell. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, that Volvo is jacked up. That thing ran last week. Um, what is this, a Volkswagen? Looks like it. Yeah, Volkswagen Passat, 170,000 miles. Minnesota Garage Toys, not gonna mess with that. Never heard of them. Let's see what else we got. So I got that, that CRV over there running, y'all. I can low key hear it from over here. So it sounds like it might have like a, um, like a breathing problem or evap code or something like that probably going on. I'm just gonna let it keep warming up because it's I can hear the RPMs all the way from over here. Audi Q7. Oh, this came from Mannheim. Y'all can see the stickers. Now, the, this one right here, this sticker right there. And then now they brought it to Odessa. Leave that be. Some of these dealers be lazy, man. Like, they'll pick it up from an auction and they won't even take the stickers off from the other auction and run it through the, the new auction. Like, dude, pay attention. Ooh, Chevy Cobalt, 127,000 miles. Who's selling this? Americars and never. Well, I have heard of them, but I never bought from them. So, let's start her up. Okay. Check engine light is on. That sound is weird. I'll come back to this one. We're not going to really stay. Oh, no. I smell gas. Wait, actually. Damn it. I ain't even scared of that. No, that's not even gas. That's exhaust. But see, these cars, I'm going to put y'all on some game, too. On this side... Or is it this side or the other side? Either way it goes, there's a gas line that I think it's on the actual gas tank side, but it always like drips from this area. If it is that, then it's just a fuel line. So that's a really um, cheap fix. Um, all you do is buy the material and I think it takes like the mechanic like an hour and a half. So I haven't really ever paid too much fixing those. I should have left that running, I'm tripping. Let me start this back up. I'll come back to it. All right, let's just make our little round. Chevy Impala, 90-something thousand miles. We good on that one. Let's see. Toyota Sienna. They got a Mercury Milan over there. Oh, no, this is a Ford Fusion. It's a hybrid. No, thank you, sir. Uh, Got a Toyota. What is this? A Camry? Yeah, it's a Toyota Camry. It's got low miles. We good. It's out of our price range, y'all. This has got low miles. It's a 5 Series. Let me just show y'all this because I know a lot of people have been asking about these German cars. Been wanting to see more of them. So this is a 2008 5 Series. Probably a 535. It's cool. Oh, it's got the new technology. I thought they didn't do this, this technology until 2010 so i guess i'm wrong about that it's batteries this i can't start it up range rover of course over there another honda crv this one's got 253,000 miles on it um 
Let's start her up. What? Is this a hybrid? No. Okay. Check engine light is on. Window work. That's good. Alright. Pop the hood on this one. Just do a little walk around. These rims need to be restored for sure. You want to get the top dollar out of this one. Yeah. Comment below. Let me know what cars y'all so far are rocking with. The cars that I'm seeing, it's not, it's not nothing too special. Y'all know I would have got super excited already if I would have saw something that I knew was like the one. And I'm Let's see, this one's, oh, this one's dry too. But that's cool. They got them a C-Class back here. I believe, or is this an E? Looks like a C-Class. I don't even know who this is. We ain't gonna mess with it. It's an E-Class, probably E550, E350. All right, yep, E350. That's weird. They got the lip painted up there. Yeah, both of those. That look tacky, man. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's see. Got them an X5. I think we saw this one last week. Yeah, we did. This came from up north. Had a different auction. We're going to leave that be. I know y'all. Some of y'all like these Lexus. We good with that today, though. Got an Infiniti G37. It's not an all-wheel drive. I'm going to leave that be. <laughs> he over there driving like crazy. See this one? Did I mess with this one last week? No, I didn't. This might be one of the ones right here. Hold on. Or did I? Let me see. Let me start it up. Nah, that ain't one of the ones, boy. That joint misfire. You just you mess with that? Uh, you mess with that Pacifica? You mess with that Pacifica? You don't want that? Ah, uh, that is. Oh, oh, got the car reader today. Oh, bro, bro came out prepared today. Yeah. Uh, Chevy Avenue. I'm not messing with these pickups right now. Man, that looks nice though. You got to sit up. CTS Where? Over there. What, uh, it's got the V6 or the, or the, uh, the V6. Oh, okay. Is it running though? Or is it next week, sir? Oh, it ain't got the numbers on there? I didn't really see nothing like crazy special, but it was some decent stuff. Little Mazda right here. Mazda 6. This I like this color. I tried to buy one last week, man. Dude was bidding me up like crazy. Sometimes they be buying these things. I don't be understanding how they buy them for the prices they be buying for. Check engine lights on. Um, the exhaust is either loud or it's got an aftermarket. Is it? Yeah. Oh, y'all see that smoke? Yeah, leave that one alone. It's burnt oil. Straight on that one. Saturn Ion, man. These cars right here, y'all, I used to buy these like crazy. I used to be able to get these for the dirt cheap. I'm talking about I'll be buying them for five, six hundred dollars. And then I'll be selling them easily for like twenty five hundred. Easy. Then one day, somehow, they just magically went up. Before, I'm talking about before COVID, one day, all of a sudden, people buying them for twenty five hundred. Like, what is going on here? So I don't know what it was that made these become a hot commodity, but it did eventually. But these was most definitely like one of my number one sellers. Like people um, did really wasn't hip to it, man. You know, these are great on gas miles. They run forever. Like this one's got 190,000 miles on it. You can kind of hear that. That little exhaust noise. Ain't nothing too crazy. You got that little light. I mean, not light, but the uh, the mirror's messed up a little bit right there. But that ain't nothing. Let that one run. I ain't gonna get under the hood yet, y'all. Trying to move through these cars for y'all so y'all don't get too bored. 
Um, if you guys are have made it this far, man, don't forget, man, give your boy a thumbs up. Comment below, man. That just helps out the algorithm. It's a free way to support the channel, man. And uh, once again, man, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. So far, yeah, I ain't seeing nothing. Twan already messed with I, I basically this whole half right here. He already rocked with that, the Grand Prix. I know he, he don't mess with uh any Toyotas or nothing like that. But uh 200 oh yeah, 250,000 miles on a Toyota Corolla. Sometimes you can get away with getting these for a decent price. But sometimes you just gotta hold on to them. Let's see. Start that joint up. Okay. She started up good. All right. Just need some wheel covers, it looks like. So we'll come back to that. Dry that. I'm most definitely um, going to get this Nissan Altima if it runs and drives good. Um, seeming to the fact that I had crazy, a crazy good sale on the personal one I just had, y'all. I will rock with it. Um, I don't know. This is different. I ain't never seen nobody do that. They took out the Nissan emblem too. So I don't know what that's the beast by. Yeah, some young kid had this one. Probably beat this to hell. Um, let's see the coupe that Tweezy was talking about over here. So just so y'all know, I am about to end this video with me driving that S3 for you guys. Um that way you guys can get a little fun on this video man but i might make a part two where i'm actually just driving all the cars we just started up so make sure y'all stay tuned yeah she a beauty she a little beauty we was over there and uh, me and twan was over in lake calhoun do have one with the uh, v10 motor with a, cu a custom paint job on it man that thing was looking beautiful it was looking real beautiful yeah, there she go. Yeah, we gonna, I'm going to meet y'all over there at the S3, man. We're going to drive that joint, have a little fun, see how fast we can get her. Oh, look at this Toyota. It's burning some oil. It's got blue smoke coming up out of there. Or actually, that's, that looks like it's white. Let me hit the gas real quick. Let's see if y'all can see it. Or was I tripping? might just need it to blow out i don't know we'll come back to a uh, note it's got some smoke coming but i think that's just i can't barely see the color though we'll just leave it running man let's get over to this uh s3 dry that joint and then uh let's have some fun okay y'all we're gonna get up in this joint real quick and see what she do i just gonna give it one more look matter of fact we need a thumbnail right there we go let's create that joint um but let's dry this man Let's give her a start up again. Oh yeah. All right, where was the push button? Right there, all right. Yeah, I'm excited. Let me put my phone right here because we know that's gonna come right out the pocket as soon as I get to hitting this joint. Um, yeah, man. I'm happy. All right, now I'm happy, y'all. I'm gonna meet y'all outside of the gate. We are gonna push this joint to the limit. All right, y'all, let's see what she do, man. Once again, it's my first time in one of these. S3, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Low key, y'all, I don't think this joint just uh, shifted to second gear. Let me, uh, I'm not gonna hit it this time because I don't want to break nobody's car. But uh, let's see, one, two, three. That's weird. I'm gonna hit it again. Let's see. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, now, now we're gonna have a little fun. All right. I was just a little scared, man. I didn't want to break nobody's car. <laughs> All right, so let's get it. All right, let's hit it. quiet y'all because i'm not impressed <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie it wasn't worth the hype man um i would mess with these shifters but 
I got y'all in my right hand and I need two hands to do my shifter, man. So, um, yeah, this one, it might just be not having the power or something. I don't know, but I'm cool with this one, man. Anyways, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm going to see y'all on the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.